Hey Pisces, welcome to High Priestess Healing Tarot, where you are the High Priestess baby. Happy 420 to anybody who celebrates. Happy Jupiter and Uranus. Doing a little dance, making a little love. Get prosperous tonight, Pisces. If you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, <clears throat> check the community tab. There's a little post on Jupiter and Uranus's placement right now and what that means for your wealth, abundance, manifestations, prosperity. Get that money, honey. All right. Um, thank you, Carrie from Vancouver. This is the Lunar Tarot. I just got this today. Just went to the post office. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what hopefully financially prosperous messages Spirit has for us today. <clears throat> thank you, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Ancestors, Archangel Michael. Please help me pull in insights for the High Priestess Collective, Highest Timelines. Okay this son of a bitch but at the same time it is capricorn energy so let's see how this goes you hear the geese look at his bat wings it's weird he has bat wings and are those ram horns oh this son of a bitch okay temptation give me a little more juice spirit <clears throat> The chariot, which is determination. Wow, and four of wands. So this is double success. Double your flavor, double your fun. All right, tell me a little bit about this friggin' dev. Oh. Whoa, wow, wow, wee wow. The sun, another card of success. Did I just say that word? Determination, celebration. I think I said that's double success, right? The sun and the moon out here. Success. Well, since he's holding that crescent moon and the sun is coming up, <clears throat> he's really chained to that moon, right? This looks like um, with Page of Swords Awakened, you might this weekend be <clears throat> awakening to something that was chaining you, holding you back, a fear, a limitation, maybe around... <laughs> excuse me Pisces maybe around your own victory success or direction forward this could have to do with your stability the four of wands is a card of stability you awaken to something though if you think about the sun tarot students the sun is it's the truth it's light it's the re it's the revealer right everything under the sun is exposed this exposure with the awakened is like you have become awakened to something that has been chaining you, holding you back, restricting you. If you look at the body language of the devil card or the devil uh, energy in this card, it mirrors the magician, right? As above, so below. And that's the ace of wands, but it's pointing down. It's pointing down. Give me one second with that. Ace of wands pointing down is like... <clears throat> Ace of Wands in reverse. So if there's been some kind of a delay or a blockage in your inspiration or creativity, you're experiencing success or victory over that, even if it's been challenging. Four Wands plus that Wand is five Wands, right? <clears throat> you're like awakened to something that's been blocking you or holding you back. The end of the story is success. <laughs> so let's, the end of the story is success. It's winning. It's celebration. It's victory. But this is giving like, cause you didn't quit, you didn't give up. This could even have to do with <clears throat> your self-reflection. I'm really sorry, my throat has been fine today. And now of course I'm here and it's acting up. Beelzebub, trying to hold me back. So sick of these motherfuckers. You know what they do, Pisces? I'm going to tell you. <clears throat> let me let you in on a little personal an anecdote. You know what people like this do? <laughs> they try to rename themselves or rebrand themselves. But you can't rename or rebrand a person or a brand that's rooted in deception or 
lacking integrity. You can't rename yourself to be more in integrity. Anyway, back to you, Pisces. Okay, tell me about this. The temptation may have been, um, this could be a million things, but because the word temptation is here, I'm like, I wonder if there's something that you've set forth doing <clears throat> and at the same time, temptation is bubbling up in different ways, covertly, to keep you from moving forward, creating this thing victoriously moving forward. But like you have more spiritual energy in and around you than this one temptation card can hold you back from. You know what else is interesting with this awakened card, Pisces? Ooh. If this temptation card is um, habits, patterns, temptations, addictions, then I said what I said. If this is a person though, and you have this awakened card, see how he's holding the sword facing down? He hasn't held the sword up yet. A sword upright is like the truth is being spoken. It's being delivered. The aha is here. The clarity, the truth is here. This person is holding it but it's like they haven't said it yet. They haven't like, they haven't waved their truth flag yet. They haven't waved the sword. They haven't waved the truth. So that's a person that's been attempting to block you from any kind of forward momentum, success, you know, victory, achieving dreams in any way, shape or form. <clears throat> it's weird because you hold some kind of truth this is giving face off. Remember that movie, John Travolta and Nicolas Cage? Oh, I fucking love that movie. Oh. Okay. I'm into this face off energy, whoever, whatever this is. Let's get a little juice here. Let's go, on the, go in on the devil first. <sighs> Son of a gun. Pisces, can you smooch that like button right on the lips? Kiss me on the like button. Okay, that was a sh that was a very weird shuffle. I have six pence, none the richer, in my head. Kiss me. <laughs> Holy, what's going on? <laughs> what is going on? Claim it, claim it, claim it. I claim my son. I claim the ace of pentacles. I claim my abundance. I claim my prosperity. I claim my wealth. I am wealthy. I am that rich bitch. What? I'm that rich witch. What? Okay. I need more, spirit. I need more. Oh, I love this Pisces. Two of swords. What, do, what don't they see? I think... There's something in front of you, Pisces. I, I oh, Okay, sorry, the stutter got so real. It's extra lately, except my nervous system's dysregulated. Shout out to anybody who has a stutter as a result of anxiety. <laughs> um, okay. Here's the thing, Pisces. Some kind of monetary gain or gift is coming towards you in the 3D world. You might not see it yet. There's some kind of... There's some kind of... And this is, might be why I'm having a hard time speaking, too. There's some kind of veil that's been cast, but like no weapon formed against you, right? It, it can't harm you. But there's been like some kind of illusion or glamor or veil that's preventing you from actually seeing that this is coming in or like how, not just coming in, I actually, I'm getting that this is here. It just has to be unveiled. The sun is, it's the revealer, right? We said this, success. So this success is yours. The awakening is yours, but that sword is down. So it's like, there's some kind of truth that hasn't been revealed or said. It could be about a person or it could be about like a, tru uh, a truth, a, a, it could be a truth, an offer, um, a next step, something becoming available to you that you didn't see, but it's it's been there. It's like in front of you, but you just didn't see it. And that's like when we're living matrix muggle life, you know, if you're still like switch hitting muggle by day, priestess by night. Um, sometimes it takes a minute for these like epiphanies of like, oh my God, this has been in front of me this whole fucking time. I had, I had an instance like that today where I went, oh my God, that's such a simple, easy idea. Why have I not done that for the priestesses yet? You know, and sometimes it just takes a minute away from everyone's noise 
sitting doing nothing or walking or listening to music and an idea pops in your head, drops in your head. That's why they call it download. Boop. I believe that something so fortuitous and so prosperous and so relieving, this combination is like, oh, I can breathe out. I can breathe out. Breathe out so I can breathe you in and hold you in. Could be about a person if you are if you are in that boat of seeking person, <laughs> four of wands, devil, sun is, um, and ace of pentacles, sun. That's like marriage, commitment, big sexual energy, big attraction energy, big, <laughs> big devil energy. You know what I'm saying? All right. Um, stop. Too many jokes. Stop. Your girl's been celibate three years. Okay. Well, let's do this. Give me a little more on the sun and the ace of pentacles for Pisces. Make it good. Make it hot. Make it snappy, baby. I'm so glad this reading is going like this. I did one this morning for you guys. It was 50 minutes long. I was like, holy shit. Didn't even feel that time go by. And I didn't even do it as the priestess. Um, but it was a little heavier. So I'm probably not going to post it. That was Queen of Cups. Oh, okay. Okay. Am I nuts? Okay, that's what I saw. One more for the sun and ace. So this is, it is money. It's money, work. This brings you to the nine of pentacles set status, pre-empress energy. The nine of pentacles is enjoying the fruits of her labor in the garden that she has nurtured. She grows grapes. Very hard work. Not everybody can do it. She also hold, holds a bird in her left hand, signaling that she communes with the divine using her intuition to make decisions before it makes sense. She grounds her intuition into practical plans, 3D offerings, products, results, health improvements. Um, this is as a, this feels like it's a result of your hard work, your dedication, your commitment to something. Now something else is being revealed to you that's going to add to the eight. The eight brings you to the nine or the ace brings you to the nine. Pisces, smooch that love button. I dig this. Let's feel into this success. This is nice for you. You could have overcome some kind of addiction, restriction, or tempting person or offer that you're like, this is an ace of wands in reverse. I know it's not going to go anywhere. So maybe you pass the test. Because this devil is chained to that moon, so it's not free to get you is the thing. Like, if this is you, awakened page of swords... You're the one that's free. You might look young, naive, childlike. Like, you might come across as like, oh, this is their first rodeo. Even if this is like your 1,000th time reincarnating here, people might still cast that judgment on you. But this temptation, it's chained to the moon. And you rule the moon. Ah, uh, so this could be an illusion. Doesn't it? it could be a person, but this looks like an illusion. It's that veil energy. Bottom of the deck, <clears throat> four of swords. That's that aha, that ace of swords. That is the aha. The yellow is the enlightenment, right? After pain, three of swords. After they hang their pain up on the wall, they contemplate, recuperate, regenerate, meditate for healing. And they have an epiphany, a breakthrough, enlightenment. I'm stuck on him, though. Can I get one more on the just the devil? Just the devil. This could just be like fear. Something holding you back, right? Four of pentacles holding back or holding on. This is somebody that's like holds on too tight to their money. So if there was something that you were hanging on too tightly to, you're like, I'm, I know I'm just like suffocating this by hanging on. Even if it's like a fear, an old pattern. Because he's hanging on and he's hanging on. They kind of look the same. That's weird. When the lights go down in the city. All earth energy too. One, two, three, four. Could be hanging on to something in your 3D world that if we loosen up the grip, or maybe you have loosened up the grip and now there's clarity coming in. All right, I'm not going to keep that. 
okay, I guess tell me about all the wins now. <laughs> it's like nothing else to say about that. That don't say that word on YouTube. Rhymes with yush. Um, tell me about the chariot. Determination is what got you here. Balancing the light and the shadow within with the full moon behind you. That's your intuition guiding the way. Allowing both both sides of you to work in tandem. Man, this is giving prosperity. Knight, the Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady wins the race. High return on investment. The Knight of Pentacles turns into the King of Pentacles. Your determination, slowly over time, yields results. No rush. You don't need to rush. This is very nice. One more for the chariot. Whatever you're investing in in yourself, you're allowed to trust it, Pisces. Wow, especially if this is a new venture, new endeavor, new idea. All this yellow. They call me mellow yellow. Yellow is enlightenment. Enlightenment, awakened. It's like all the choices that you've been making are spirit. If this rings true for you, spirit led decisions are actually resulting in a change in the 3D. Finally, after releasing or facing or acknowledging some kind of holdback, setback. Yeah, red flags, answering the call, paying attention to what's no longer serving you, awakening into this next version of your life. This is resurrection energy, second chance energy. Let's try this again energy. Okay, let's master it in this lifetime energy, please. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. After some kind of limiting belief or deceptive energy, some kind of like calculated energy that resulted, someone kind of could have tried to make you feel like you couldn't do something, but I'm getting covert with that devil. It's like real, it's not, so here's an example of covert jabs. I have a million and now I'm like, be careful. <laughs> Okay, got one. When I launched my first business, it was career coaching, and I was hosting um, two interviews a week on my Instagram Live, and I would go live with entrepreneurs and people who career change. And, and a person who was related to someone in my family saw me at a holiday, and they go, just so you know, I'm in, my, I'm in my 30s. Not that the age matters, but how they spoke to me, it was weird. They go, oh, you have like a little business now. And I was like, why'd she just say little? What is that? What are you doing? I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. <laughs> I don't like it. And I said, no, I've, I've had it for however long I had it at that point. Like, I didn't, you know, I was like, oh, no, no, no. Like, it's, we're, we're moving and grooving, you know? It's little things like that when people, um, and, you know, use discernment. You have to feel into people's energy. You know who's fake and phony and who's not. But these things that people say, listen to what they're saying. Sometimes people will pose. I'm not trying to get you paranoid. And sometimes people will pose like they're joking but they're not. They're like poking, not joking. That is a them thing, not a you thing. You keep taking these leaps. You keep showing up like the sun. You keep growing and showing and building and thriving, right? You don't stop because people throw passive aggressive shade. Passive aggressive jabs are a sign of codependency. It's a sign of insecurity. It's a sign of unhealed behavior. The adult thing would have been Hey, I see you. I, I see what you're doing on Instagram, interviewing these people. Why don't you tell me more about your business? That's like an adult conversation. Or what I, I'm seeing you on Instagram a lot lately. What is this business that you're doing? Not, oh, you have like a little business. Fuck off with that. Miss me. Anyway, back to you Pisces. If anybody has tried to make little, little covert jabs take it as a compliment see them for what they are oh that's an insecure person and you're allowed to vault it you don't need to share any of your plans and success with haters four of wands victory success 
high vibrational energy. 1111, it's the manifestation card. It's the make-a-wish card. <clears throat> Three of Pentacles. Pisces, you're building something. Whatever you're building, whatever you're creating, whatever you're working on, even if it's a fun hobby, creativity could be like art, ceramics, getting back into some kind of creative outlet. You're showing up as an inspiration and muse energy. The thing that you are creating, look at this. We go one pentacle, three pentacles, ace pentacles, eight pentacles. Keeps going up. Even if there's dips, it keeps going up. So you're going to be successful in whatever this is that you're building. Are you on a team? Or are these one of the fuckers that said some dumb shit? They hate you because they ain't you. It just is what it is. What are we going to do here? Yeah, I do think that is Eight of Swords. Somebody could have said something that maybe momentarily veiled you from seeing the success and victory and sweetness that you are, ooh, destined to receive because you are God's baby. You are a child, Six of Cups, of God. Say, Pisces, I am a child of God. Don't F with me. F with me, you F with the divine. This is very sweet. Six, six is progress forward. So you could have been making progress and then have a temporary pause. Or if there are any signs of hater nation. <laughs> oh, no. I'm getting into very cheesy mode, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Um, if there is any sign of hater nation, please take it as a marking of success. Please, whether it's a troll, whether it's a nasty DM, whether it's a little jab from someone that you know, however way, shape, or form. Take it as a sign of success. And you smile and you keep shining. You keep shining, you keep building. They can't stop this. You know the words. Tell me about the sun for Pisces. This beautiful success. Damn, I think that is it. There's like a temporary delay or a temporary delay or... I don't want to say B-L-O-C-K. That's not what it is. So it just looks like a temporary hold up. Hold up. Just a temporary one. You just keep getting back up, Pisces. Yeah, page of wands, spiritual journey, page of cups. Look at this page, page, page. So it's something new. Something new you're working towards. Something new you're going towards. You have emotion about it. You're like emotionally invested in this. You're spiritually like motivated, inspired by this. Maybe that's why this card could take this could feel per so extra personal because you're like, I'm creating from my heart and my spiritual space. So you're essentially creating something or building something from the inside out. So when people poke at it, it feels extra personal because you're like, this is my insides coming out onto the outside, like a beautiful painting or sculpture or a business or a letter or a poem or song or making a decision for your life but it's like from the insides you're making moves from the insides first that's really beautiful pisces you actually have to get oh i'm getting choked up you have to <clears throat> you have to give yourself more credit for all the decisions that you make for yourself from the insides first not because it makes sense on the outside Give yourself credit for the decisions you make where you're like, this is my intuition and I have to follow this before this makes sense for me. This feels right for this feels right for me. This feels spiritually guided for me. It doesn't have to make sense to fucking nobody. No one. Just you and God, the divine source, whatever you believe in, universe. Tell me more about the success. The sun coming out twice with the eight of wands in reverse and that ace of wands in reverse is like, nothing can stop this train. Nothing can stop this train because the conductor is God. You can't stop the universe from universing. Clown, whatever that is, whether it's right fear or a person or they planted it or whatever. Sun, 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 sun sunshine on my window makes me happy like I could be outside all around me. Do you remember that song from 10 Things I Hate About You? 
king of pentacles so we just went from the knight to the th okay from the ace to the eight to the knight to the three to the king this gives rich <laughs> richy rich baby they can't oh man you know what this is also feeling like these momentary setbacks, illusions, veils, snarky shit, um, jabs, cuts, whatever whatever the temptation is. In an attempt to chain you and keep you stuck, you will keep moving because the divine's like, this is the plan. You might have to move through this temptation energy as to collect the experience because that is the purpose of being a human. Collecting sentient experiences. But this is like, God won't keep you stuck because you're supposed to be throned. You're supposed to be crowned. You're supposed to be re receiving this divine inheritance. Remember, I was just talking about the Nine of Pentacles and I went, I intentionally said, she's in her garden. She grows grapes. It's not easy to do that. And look what he's wearing grapes so whatever you're growing that's not easy to do you're about to be wearing it you're about to be fucking wearing it like red carpet okay there's four five deer crossing my yard right now to anybody who have deer spirit animals you're about to be wearing your work on your cloak while you sit in your throne, wearing your crown, holding your coin. This is like, God wants, God wants them to see you. Whatever this is. Whether this is just an internal energy that we've had to work through, release, purify, or actual people. I'm, I think this is people though. I felt like that truth. There's something about that truth. And like, you stay quiet, or you're staying quiet, or you hold some kind of truth. We'll go deeper. But this is like, oh, no, no, no. Let's put them on the throne now. Let's let people see them. And this little nod, tarot students, you see his left foot has that armor on, just like the emperor. It's the only two tarot, the only two ruling royal cards that show armor. This is to remind people that you're a spiritual warrior. Shout out, Jay. Thank you. This is to remind people you are a spiritual warrior. This is to re remind people, I might look cute and nice and kind. I might have a shaky voice sometimes. I might cry on YouTube sometimes. But I'm a fucking warrior, say Pisces. I'm a fucking spiritual warrior. And that's why God's like, don't fuck with my child. This is a God baby. You are a God baby. Capish? Kapash! Divine intervention, hello. This is divine court being like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is how we balance the scales. So Pisces, whatever temptation, blockage, hardship, person, whatever has been like holding you back, you're about to pierce through if you haven't already pierced through. If you have pierced through and you've just been recuperating because you are absolutely exhausted on every level of your being, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically, I got you. God's got you. The divine court has spoken. Now the sword is pointing up. Spirit's like, don't worry. Okay, you, you hold that truth. If that sword's a little too heavy, don't worry. Don't worry. We will. We'll hold it. We'll hold it for all to see. Because we reward the truth. We reward pure intention. We reward high vibrational love there's some kind of portal energy here so this could have been um this could have been an exercise for you to move through right that sentient experience to show yourself what you're made of even if you feel like you didn't win this looks like this was a win though pisces i think they just wanted you to walk through the fire even if you feel like you didn't collect the trophy at the end so what does that mean like um if you walk through a, recently like a hard this isn't hard, like, this could have been a tower thing, but this feels deeper. This feels like it could have activated significant anger, sacred rage, disappointment, heartbreak. You could have even felt disappointed in yourself that you were faced with this situation. This is spirit being like, no, my sweet baby child, we just wanted you to 
walk through that experience so that now you have the skill set in your back pocket. You are never going to lose to that. You are always going to triumph because we are walking you through. I say we, it's the divine, right? Your team, your guides. Now all the deer are walking towards the house, like directly towards the window. I'm like, are they coming in? Okay, this is beautiful. Could have to do with a relationship, right? For some of you, you were actually attached to a uh, energy siphoner. You know who you are. Oh. Bazinga. And boom goes the dynamite. Um, this is giving whatever this was. You handled it exactly how you could. Exactly how you could. This is giving like the divine is calling bullshit on something. Yeah, they in there's just significant divine intervention here. That's a beautiful thing. All right, cool. Tell me about this. Um, you're a beautiful student, Pisces. Kiss your brain. That's what I used to say my third graders. Kiss your brain. So smart, so wise. Tell me about this um, awakening. Or it's awakened. It's awakened. So maybe you just got like an insight into a little blind spot that you had. Maybe that's all they wanted you to do. It's like, oh, I got a little blind spot. Now I know. This motherfucker can't get you. Chained. Th these wings? Useless. Because you're chained, clown. I'm spicy. Tell me about this awakened energy with the sword down. Oh, maybe you're being rewarded because you didn't fight. Give me one more. I have to have two with this one. Thank you. It's both threes. Three of cups. In <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, Pisces. Three of cups in reverse. Three of wands. Three of cups in reverse is gossip. So it is. It's like people saying not kind things or jabs or talking behind your back. Like literally look behind your back. Oh, isn't that funny? That body language. You see that, Tower students? Okay, let him talk. No press is bad press, babe. Three, three, believe anything is possible. Maybe that's what carried you through. They just wanted you to become awakened to whatever this energy is or was that was holding you back. But it's literally, I keep saying, holding you back, back, back. But look, your back is to it. You could do it, put your back into it. What? Stop. Don't. <laughs> I love this. Bottom of the deck is two of cups. Seven of Wands, Five of Pentacles. Whatever this was, you either you warded it off successfully and it was going to cause you lack or it began to cause you lack, either mentally, emotionally, or monetarily, right? Energetically. And you came back into union with yourself or you are aware like, oh, I have to block this off because I need to come back into union. This is draining me. No matter how, whatever. This is an A plus report card. I don't know what you want me to tell you that... You're wonderful and divine and supreme. Yes, you're a child of the cosmos. You are one of God's babies. Yes, you are. Motherfuckers can't get one on you. Yes. Eight, eight, prosperity's on the table. We have three, three, three. Your ascended masters are guiding you. Anything else for this three of cups, three of wands? Oh, wait, let me say it differently. Any information on the awakened? On the awakened. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. Put your mouth on that like button, babe. Kiss me on the like button. Smash it. Bop it. Twist it. Love it. Ten of Pentacles. Generational wealth. Wealth building. Ding, ding, ding. Sudden wealth. Getting everything you want and more. They wanted you to see this hard, dark thing. So that you can successfully and confidently move forward. Maybe this is kind of lighting a fire. Come on, baby, light my fire. Maybe this is kind of lighting a fire like... Let me show you, right? Sitting on the throne. Let me show you what I can do. Oh, you thought, oh, you thought you could. Let me show you. Do you know what I'm saying, Pisces? I'm talking to you like, <laughs> I don't know if I'm speaking another language. <laughs> I'm talking to you like you're my best friend, Penny. Let me show you. This is really like the divine though. It's like, we're gonna, we're gonna, this is gonna be a very sweet layup for you. Get ready to collect. Play play that lotto. Play that Powerball. Don't forget your favorite little old tarot reader on Long Island when you win big. Send me a little postcard from whatever island you buy and move to. I'll host retreats there. What? Okay. 
I only love the High Priestess community. I'm so like, fuck everybody else right now. It's wild. I love this Pisces. We're putting these, these people are behind you for a reason. Let them, let them love watching you walk away. Okay. Give them a show, kid. We got wealth to build, check to collect, magic to weave. What does this mean? Oh, this is so freaking nice. This feels like you moved through the darkness not knowing which way to go and you just did your best and maybe you felt a little defeated or maybe you still do. The divine is saying behind that darkness though is an equal give and take, is balance, is you receiving a gift and it's as a result of your faith and commitment to divinity. Faith and commitment to yourself is the same thing as commitment to divinity. When you honor your energetic levels, you are honoring the divine. So if you're having a hard time setting boundaries, one way to look at it is when I am dysregulated, that means the divine in me is dysregulated because your energy is divine. Your centers are divine. Your gifts are divine. Your heart and your voice are divine. Your intentions are divine. So if you are dysregulated or you feel disrespected or you feel taken for granted that's the divine in you being disrespected, not valued. Take it for granted. Set a boundary for the divine if you like need that muscle. It looks like you're learning that though. Maybe, yeah, it does look like you're learning that. Some it's a little easier than others. We got the sun and the moon out here. That is your masculine and feminine in balance. Your intuition leading the way, joy, happiness, fulfillment on its way to you, success and victory are yours, celebrations will be had. There could be a party, some kind of celebratory party involving this like significant growth or change in your 3D world. So I'm saying growth, if this isn't specifically money, this could be some kind of expansion that you are working towards, whatever that expansion is, especially if you set very specific intentions around expansion um in january or the astrological new year so if it's not literal money this is like growing a followership changing homes promotion salary increase well that's monetary gain right if this is let's let's make it spiritual if this is spiritual and you've been like nurturing a gift of yours and that's been your primary focus a gift or health not only does it grow, there's dips, right? There's like a ping and a, then a dip and a ping and then a dip and a ping and a dip. Um, you end up cashing out this like health improvement, this spiritual focus, a spiritual gift, whatever it is that you are working towards. This all works out. I love this. I love it. I love it. I love it. Where am I? Oh my God, that went so fast. Okay. This felt so, this feels so good. Um, I don't want to be greedy, but I love this deck. Anything for Pisces, um, anything Pisces should know with this path forward towards their abundance. <gasps> oh, I want money, lots and lots of money. I want that pie in the sky. I want to be rich. Ooh, ooh. That's my Aunt Mo song. Oh my goodness. This gives, this gazebo always reminds me of Liesl and that fuck ass from um, The Sound of Music. I am 16 going on 17. Remember? Privileged lady. You're about to be privileged up, Pisces. Claim your sudden wealth. Claim your throne. Claim your crown. Claim your ten of pentacles. Claim, claim your rich witch era, bitch. Let's fucking go. I say that with love, please. Okay, thank you, Spirit. That's exactly what we wanted and exactly what you need, what we needed. If we are looking for a human being to court us in some way, that is coming. Cute. Let me know. Keep me posted. I need hope. Okay, enough about me. Pisces, back to you. Let's play Ask a Priestess. Okay. Our lovely, lovely Carrie, who gifted me the Lunar Tarot, <clears throat> she sent in a question and said, do your... Carrie, is this the same Carrie? We might have two Carries here. 
Do your readings resonate for you? How would you describe your energy as you read the tarot? P.S. You are right. She said, P.S. You are surrounded by the genuine love of your high priestess collective. I really feel that. I really feel that, especially this week. Thank you. Thank you to everybody who's been so kind and like extra. Oh, God. <sighs> Thank you, everybody who's been so kind and extra supportive lately. I appreciate you so much. Okay. I chose this question which is about me because I told myself I wasn't going to work this weekend and it's becoming increasingly harder to actually follow that rule. So I was like, okay, this is my loophole. <laughs> my readings, um, almost not, I'll say most of my readings, there's a sentence, a line, a scenario at some point that I'm like, Ooh, you know, I'm like, Ooh, that one. <laughs> that one's I gotta take that one <laughs> sometimes I'll say it I'll be like I have to remember that or I'll try to like remember it while I'm recording like what did I just say and I'll know like that one is for me too I'm part of the collective too I'm a March 1st baby um and she said how does it feel when you're reading I lose track of time so it's like guys I'm, I'm so emotional <laughs> I lose track of time Tarot is my favorite way to get into flow state. I imagine the way like runners catch a running high or artists when you get into flow. Um, I Tarot is art to me. And oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, guys. I said to Erica Vega, Vega Tarot, go follow Vega Tarot on YouTube. She's one of my former tarot students and she's now a graduate. Um, and leader in our high priestess community, one of our leaders. I said to her, I watch tarot like people watch sports. I love watching tarot. Not like I don't need to, I don't need to be watching for a message for me. I'll always keep an ear out. I love watching tarot. I love watching how many different ways people can read cards. I love watching a reader tap in and channel. There's moments where you can hear or see the difference when you and you go, oh my God, it's right now. It's happening right now. This person is, is divinity is moving through them and speaking through them right now. It's like watching Ariana Grande, Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston sing. You, you're like, this is an untouchable Olympian level gift. It's art. I love it. I love it with like my being. I can't, I love it so much. I'm teaching it. Like I can't get enough. I'm like, I gotta, I have to create a new course. Cause I'm like, how else can I teach this? Neptune's confirming, right, baby? Um, so I feel in flow. I feel like I'm creatively expressing a part of me that was muted and I'm healing parts of me that were, you know, needing healing and love and visibility, even though you're just getting my pause. Um, Sometimes I feel a little weak after. Sometimes I, f sometimes I always feel like the wave of emotions, especially when there's like extremes. I feel them, you know. My empathy taps in, and I feel this fuckhead. And my, and my, yeah, win, go, win, Pisces. I feel that too. Like, like I, it feels like I know you, and I'm like, yes. This is, this is for you. Um, and then sometimes afterwards I feel like a little bit annoyed and that's when I have to go for a walk or like eat a banana. <laughs> sometimes I feel things in my body. Sometimes I don't. It's like always different, but I'm always in flow. And that's the coolest thing to me because that feels special. And it took me, I've been reading cards for four years now. I've always had the ability to do stuff like this. I just needed to find the right tool. And this is like the coolest tool, you know? I want money, lots and lots of money. Pisces, hold my hands. Thank you for being here, Pisces. I'm sending you so much Reiki love and healing. Take a big deep breath in through the nose. Sorry, I said that weird. Hold it at the top for three, two, one slow release out and affirm i am a very rich witch yes you are pisces 